Well, right now we're just a matter of a few days away from the general election and we could see some new faces at Buffalo City Hall. Well, tonight we're hearing from two of the candidates vying for the Ellicott District Council seat. And we want to let you hear from the candidates before you head to the polls. Join your size, Andy Payton is live tonight at City Hall with the story. Hey there, Andy. Scott and Mary Alice, that's right. The countdown has officially begun, and one of the key races we have our eyes on comes with even bigger shoes to fill as Leah Holt and Pope and Michael Chapman will square off next Tuesday to fill the shoes of current Buffalo Common Council President Darius Pridgen, who announced he would not be seeking re-election. Tonight, I sat down with both of the candidates and to learn a little bit more about their background and who their campaign, what their campaign looks like for this Tuesday. Uh, Holt and Pope enters Tuesday with 25 years of government and political experience and spending the last 10 of those years with current majority leader Crystal People Stokes. She says she's focused her campaign on fixing basic infrastructure, working to help small businesses, but that her main focus is on housing. There has to be a way that we um, rebuild these communities. Some streets in this district have maybe two houses on the whole street. So imagine being able to build houses and create a neighborhood um, that's affordable. They're not too high for people to, to live in. Um, and there's some equity built in. We start creating generational wealth by that. Now, Halton Pope's opponent bears more similarities with the current seat occupant. Michael Chapman has spent the past 22 years as the pastor at St. John's Baptist Church and says he's running simply because the community asked him to do so. He also tells me his opponent's years of experience in politics isn't something he's concerned about, despite having no political background himself. Listen to this. I'm not part of that system. I started at the beginning with all of them, the mayor and everything. When the mayor got here, I've been here already 20 years working in the community. They chose to go this way. I went this way. Now, in less than 24 hours, we'll have an opportunity to hear from Chapman again as he's going to be participating in a forum for other Buffalo Common Council member candidates here from the east side. Holton Pope tells me she will not be in attendance, though. Reporting on your side and live at City Hall tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.